everybody, and welcome to the Liars Club. I'm Felicia Michaels. And I'm Jessica Wellington. And what we do here at the Liars Club is we have two of our comedy pals come on. We ask them to tell two stories. One is the truth, one is a lie. We try to figure out which one is the lie. Now, if you're playing along with us on the Comedy Store YouTube, you can just put in your thoughts in the uh, comment section. And Austin Walker here, our on-air producer, will relay them to us. Right, Jessica? That's right. Would you do us the favor and introduce our guests? I would love to. Um, over to my left, this lovely lady, we just finished shooting a pilot that we hope gets picked up. You've seen her on America's Got Talent, and she's also been uh, featured on the local news in Cincinnati. Yep. This is Kristen ah, Lundberg. Okay. <laughs> I love that. Hey. Awesome. Welcome to the show. <laughs> and I am so excited to have this woman here. I've been trying to get her here for a while now. Mm -hmm. um, she is... <laughs> To her annoyance, I'm sure. I yeah. Well, it's a weird time of the day. I know. make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> I bug them until they get here. I'm like, today you're a latchkey kid, kid. Yeah. Bye. Bye. So make yeah. the frozen pizza <laughs> yourself. You can just hang out in there. Just don't I know. know I thought about it. I thought yeah. about telling him to do a lie and a truth, bringing him in here. <laughs> but, but in all honesty, you don't want to bring children here to the comedy store. <laughs> True. <laughs> but she has her own podcast called Check In uh, with Mary Lynn. And she's also been on 24, HBO's uh, Mr. Show. Mm. And she has a new movie out right now. She's been in so many. Uh, the recent one is Night School with Kevin Hart and Tiffany. It? Tiffany Haddish. Oh, yeah. She's in that as well. This is Mary Lynn Reiskup. Welcome to the show, oh, Mary thank Lynn. You. Welcome thank to you. the Thanks show. Thanks for having me. It must have been so cool to work with Kevin and Tiffany. You guys must have just laughed your asses oh, off on the Oh, it's the best. The it was yeah, also yeah. Uh, Taryn Killam, Al Madrigal. <gasps> oh, wow. Um, yeah. Rob Riggle, so much fun. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure. And by the way, for everybody that's watching, Tiffany has uh, a bunch of Netflix shows coming up yeah. with all her pals on it. Why don't you, they're called uh, They're Ready. Yeah, those it's look a great. Series. Yeah, those look awesome. I'm so happy for everybody that's on that because there's a lot of amazing comedians on that. So should we chit chat a little bit or just jump in, Jessica? Well, we can chit chat. I don't I mind, know. but uh, <laughs> I, everybody's so excited that you're on the show today. Oh, geez, thanks. So I can't decide if I want to see or not. It's such a quandary. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like fuzzy <laughs> or not. Well, I'm going to be sitting over sweating. You don't need to see that. Yeah. Hello. Maybe I do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, if you can't see, all your other senses will work better. So. Whoa. You know. That's a good, wow. uh, that's a good point. Then so maybe the sense of a smell. Will work <laughs> yeah, you don't want to activate nah, that. You don't want to heighten that. that. By the way, fascinating <laughs> chit chat. Yeah. Yeah. It really is. Right. <laughs> I've been smelling Jessica. <laughs> Jessica and I have been. Today. I know. She's on We've been breathing our the own farts for like yeah. four days. All uh, right. <laughs> so why don't we uh, just jump right to it? Because I can't wait to hear. Everyone's stories. Mary Lynn, will you go first? And by the way, what we're going to do, she's going to tell a story. We're going to rotate it to you, then go back to her, then to you, and then we'll do a roundup and uh, and we'll vote. Okay. All right. I uh, learned transcendental meditation. You transcendental? TM. You've heard of it. No dental. That's what like you're <laughs> oh, my God. She's totally <laughs> serious, too. I, I knew it was coming. I didn't even. <laughs> I just said <laughs> one thing. <laughs> You've never heard of it? No. I, I have. I have. Of course you have. Have you heard of the Japanese art of magical folding? Of uh These origami? are the trendy origami? things. Origami? Close. Anyway, no crosstalk. <laughs> to get through my story. I learned transcendental meditation. It's the Beatles learned it. Howard Stern does it. David Lynch does it. Hmm. J Howard Jerry Stern? Seinfeld does it. You my do it cat twice. Does it. I thought everyone has heard of this by now because a few years ago when I learned it, it, it was on the Oprah show, and then Oprah made a big thing of like. So what exactly is it? Yeah, it's twice a day, twenty minutes a day, mm -hmm. and it's it's very. I mean, it is. It's taught by the Maharishi that taught the Beatles, but the actual learning of it is very sort of scientific, and they just teach you the method of how to do it. They give you a mantra. And I remember the first time I showed up on, it was in Beverly Hills on the a porch. And I was like, hey, what's up? And I, I do that because like my energy was so jacked up that when my, cause my meditation teacher opened it, his name was David. He had very thick brown hair and he was like, hello. And I was like, wow, I'm really like need to calm down. Like, this is, <laughs> this is good that I'm doing this. And so he taught it to me, you go four days in a row, you pay a certain amount of money. I think they were having a special because Oprah had just had it on her show. And it's not a cult. <laughs> Sometimes is, they can be. I mean, this one is this one for. I mean, they have pictures of the dudes, uh, the Eastern, you know, 
because yeah, but the teaching of it is very cut and dry. But you when just, the Beatles did it, didn't wasn't there like a lot of hijinks involved with them doing transcendental meditation with some specific teacher, and then there was probably like going some down. sex. Yeah. Well, there always is. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> really? But this is yeah, a they very, want you calm so they can get you. This is a very, very <laughs> like nearly clinical thing. There's like okay. there's there's pamphlets and there's uh, so it's official. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you know, church it's like when I has pamphlets. We need to get some of them pamphlets. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it official. It's very clean. It's a you know nonprofit. But why did I pay for it? Okay, I pay. I pay. And you haven't to had, do had it. sex with anybody in your dental company. <laughs> well, that's kind of where the story is going. <laughs> it's not. It's not because I was in a wow. cult, but because the guy teaching me, David, he was very nice. The four days that I went in there, and then he was like. Then you can go back for check-ins as long as you want to, so you <laughs> yeah. can refresh your learning of it. Uh -huh. And it wasn't there wasn't anything funky to do with the meditation at all. It, in fact, he waited until we were like outside of the place, like I was going to park and, and I, we were just chatting, and I was like, "Oh, I'm going to eat," and and he was going to eat too, and so we like started we oh, ate let's together. Eat together. And you know what? It yeah. Starts out this chill. Is, we starts have a star. <laughs> When's the last time we had a fucking star on this why podcast? And I, why that? are you treating her that I mean, way? Is she mocking me or she's projecting she's, where she thinks I, the story? I oh, know, I but, see where this is. Yeah. <laughs> are you like my hype person? Come like, whoa, whoa. Come on. Come on. So you Stop have that, lunch Jessica. in the middle of the day in Beverly <laughs> Hills in public with a bunch of other people. So you map out on him? Did you mac out? Did you guys kiss? Well, kind of. Okay. So... It was, we, I hung out with him a couple more times after that. I did him a couple of check-ins. And then um, he sort of mentioned very calmly in his medita medit meditative way. I think sometimes, like, when I'm open, I'm really open and, like, non-judgmental. <laughs> and I think, you know what I mean? Like, I can either be aloof or, right. or I'm, like, people right. are, like, telling me everything. Right. Of course, I just meditated and he's so calm that I think he was so used to not telling his truth that he started telling me about how he goes to these dungeons and stuff like that and he's like into s and m because it's part of like what yes and so <laughs> he asked me if i wanted to go and quite honestly it wasn't it was because i was like oh, totally no. like you know what i mean i was egging <laughs> it on he wasn't doing it in a creeptastic way i was like yeah i will totally go with you so i ended up going to a dungeon in los see, angeles now i can actually see Whoa. this more than I can the transcendental. <laughs> you're like you're like the second half of the story. Yeah, it makes, makes sense. sense. <laughs> like wh why all the build up with the I mean, woo woo? You don't need that. What, who cares yeah. about you clearing have the your mind? You taint of sex the, dungeon on you. I just made you this guy. <laughs> Get over to the S and M. Waka waka. Give me the juice. Get to the. So we ended up going, and it was. I want to say it was like it was a long time ago. Like uh, Venice Boulevard. Yeah, it was like on Venice, way down in like a industrial building like outside looked like nothing and then when when we walked in it was like so not sexy at all like uh -huh. the first person you saw did you ever watch those shows like real sex on hbo where it's just like oh yeah right out of the gate the most unattractive couple you know right that's what in, gave me in hope. there <laughs> and then there were curtains that were made out of like trash bag material i was like this is not my kind of dungeon uh -huh. and then <laughs> You know, he, uh, it, can I get like silk? Yeah, get silk? They sort nice of knew silk. that I was with him and I was uh -huh. like a bit of How a How many people foyer. were in there? There was like a foyer area and then I did meet his dominatrix, but then <gasps> I kind of like pieced out because in order to like stay, I would have had to like sort of participate and uh -huh. I wasn't I wasn't really But when you walked in, how many people were there? Probably it was sort of dark and to be honest, when I saw that couple, I just kind of did this, but I think there was like it was sort of darkish. There's probably like 10 people oh, really? in the foyer yeah. area hanging out. What's that like meeting the guy that you kind of are on a date with, meeting his dominatrix? What's that like? Is, I mean, I don't know. I, it was f fine. I was sort of, I was in my like ju non-judgment mode. Of course, then I judged it after the fact. Uh -huh. But, but you know, when I went in there, I was like, oh, I'm open to this. And right. it it seemed like she had a job to do. She was play acting. 
because on the other hand, he's the one paying for it. So, oh, so they were getting down. She was about to go yes. all dominatrix on him. Yeah. So there's a bit of like right. go all dominatrix. <laughs> it's kind of cool, but there's also like a play acting to it. You know what uh -huh. I mean? Everyone's agreeing upon it, where it's like, okay, you know, she's like, in control, but you're paying for it. So who's really in control? Right. And it was just becomes this sort of fetishy. Like, mm. I kind of dug her that job. I was like, yeah. that's cool. Like, I get it. Yeah. yeah, I would. I, see I would be a it. dominatrix yeah. before I would be a person going there for sure. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. I could see that. Yeah, my but friends so, yeah, in then Cincinnati. I peaced out. Out. Oh, there. The first time I ever went to San Francisco was during the fetish uh, uh, festival, the leather and fetish festival. This, and they do a lot of spanking there. Yes. And I was nice. so just like wow that I sat and watched a whole spanking session of all these people. For like three hours, and my friend was probably like, "Can we move on?" <laughs> well, I actually dated a guy that was into that kind of stuff, and he had like a whole bag, like a gym duffel bag, in his closet full of shit that he would try to tie me up, and he had like a four poster bed, and he would spank me, and but sometimes like he would tie my leg up, like my left leg, and then we'd be having sex, <laughs> and then and then leg. he's like trying to get all hopped up and right into it. I know, I know. And I and the only time like when he was when he was doing that, the only thing I would think would be like, God, if you just untied my left leg, I could fucking torque it a little bit yeah. and throw it up <laughs> like that. So I'm definitely not made for that kind of thing. And the thing is on that kind of like when you do that kind of sex, you always have to escalate it. Yes, you, I think you know that's I mean? true. It's, it's like and little... what you just described is how I felt of, of like their, or uh, definitely for sure him is uh -huh. like getting into it, you know. And I'm like, okay, cool. Like I'm more observing it. Yeah. Right. And what did she look like? The she was hot. Yeah. She had brown hair. I uh -huh. feel like there was a Catwoman type of mask that she wore. Uh -huh. Like Probably a like pleather. a yeah. And what did his hair look like again? He had brown, thick hair, and okay, sort of a trick you short, long <laughs> mullet. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! That's right. what you really do. Bad. That's how you do it. There's, well, I don't. Right, I didn't I'm think ready. it was very good. There's a series on Netflix now about this, uh -huh. and it's just not shot very well. Yeah, He's like they're they're shooting him like you see this, and then like a ton of wall. You if know? you're a lay person going into it, you for the show. I mean, not real life as a whole, but yeah, you want it to be like make it attractive to me. Don't show me your real world if yeah. you want this to be accepted but i guess they don't it's just like exposing it right like weird lifestyles or whatever all right well that's a a great story to open that up with and yeah. why don't can we... you say the guy's first name no don't say okay. his first i did name. already oh, i said it earlier did, did david, well, david oh. that's right did say it okay all right so I thought and do you, you david <laughs> when's the last time you talked to david uh it's been years he's married now uh-huh it's been probably Six years, seven and years. And how long ago was this that this happened? Seven years ago. Seven years mm -hmm. ago. How long have you been married? I've been married ten years. Maybe it was so nervous now. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was longer ago. <laughs> than I, I would change your story if I was you. <laughs> 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 okay, Kristen, your turn. <laughs> Wait, real quick. Um, oh, yeah. Lin Lindsay said that uh, he or she's not buying these Buddha hijinks. Buddha. And, uh, oh. Ken thought that not having recollection recollection of having met his dominatrix seemed to be too vague. And Ken seems like I'm a guy offended. that's into that sort of thing. So. I'm offended. Mm. Yeah, but well, because really I didn't remember too. what she looked like. Mm. Yeah, well, yeah, because well, not know, that you didn't know what they looked like, but you didn't have a reaction to meeting her. And if it was your like. Love uh, interests, dominatrix. You might oh, be kind that's of like more true. Shocked, yeah, like but if you're going true. into a a dungeon, you you got to keep your reactions on yeah. check. Yeah, you know what I mean. You can't yeah, be like, oh my god, you yeah. already have an idea <laughs> of what you're going right. into, so it's not like oh, all yeah. out of the blue. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. So you play that cool. is correct. Yeah. Also, they're all yeah. catching up right now because they're on a little bit of a delay, and they're all saying, "Oh snap, Felicia got her." <laughs> <laughs> like, but don't say anything. Don't say anything. Because <laughs> 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 you never know. <laughs> yeah, you I, do never right. know. You do never know. <laughs> you Chris, yeah, I, I don't know gonna, what goes on in your I was going to say something yeah. else about my marriage. I was like, that's too much. Okay. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to go that far to try to convince you. Okay. All right, so Kristen, your turn. <laughs> I'm not going to divulge right. things okay. from my marriage. Okay. Okay. Too much. Fair enough, fair enough. Maybe later, maybe later. Uh, and I mean, I have a good sense of time. You never know. <laughs> yeah, true. Um, okay, so my story is um, my grandma died about... Great Which grandma and where? Grandma. <laughs> That's me being Jessica. 
she died in, in Dayton, and uh, we, we like to take family trips to Vegas. And so for her, um, for her ashes, she was cremated. She died of lung cancer. Um, <laughs> so for her, uh, for her funeral, we took her ashes, and we took them to Vegas. And uh, we partied it up, you know, just like we, wo- you know, she would oh, want no. us to do. And we were gonna like l- release the ashes, like in the in the casinos and stuff, and like put them in the How casino. Or, like go, oh, like we were gonna release them out into like into Vegas, just. But in how? Vegas. What was the plan? What was the thought? The thought was, had no plan. They were gonna ride the stratosphere loved- and just dump <laughs> them over the <laughs> side. <laughs> <as they laughs> the was she loved Vegas, and you know we were gonna just put her ashes in Vegas. So that was the thought. In casinos. That- like but you're how? Dipping in your casino, hand into the bag have have and better, You guys were just like in the air, and uh-huh. like we were going to. But here's what happened: we forgot because we were all drunk and partying and stuff, and we got to the airport. And I realized, like, oh, shit, I still have the ashes in my bag. Did you divvy them so, up between people? Or you had no, the whole thing? You didn't no, even I take them a- out of your bag the whole time? Not even to divvy it up? No, no. I Listen, so here's what happened. I said, hey, I still have the ashes, you guys. We forgot to do this. It's what we came here to do. So we put the ashes in an airport plant. And so now, you know, I can't, she's, you know, I, like I told you, I left my, my mom's ashes are still in Florida at a funeral home. I never picked them up. Really? Yeah. All right. My really. brother's ashes are in my it's closet. Easy to <laughs> it's easy to forget. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So, so, I mean, it happens. You know, it our friend happens. Mama Shar. Yeah. I was helping her move. Okay. Uh-huh. And uh, I was moving some stuff out the top of her closet. She's an older lady. So getting up on a ladder was not really her optimal situation. And I go and take this red box. She goes, uh, you might not want to grab that. And I go, why? <laughs> She's like, that's David. It was her husband that was just <laughs> having to be up in that box. <laughs> not your David, probably. David is but. real. <laughs> David is real. You know, my roommate keeps his parrot in a box in our in Yeah, our but apartment. that's a parrot. He's a little... Yeah, I have both my dogs. Yeah, I have, I have, I have, I stole yeah. that cat in my freezer. <laughs> <laughs> she stole these serious. She stole these serious. <laughs> when are you gonna take that cat out of your freezer? I don't yeah. know. It's trying to get know. a trying to get a refund. I just had a flashback right? of we actually dissected cats in did the you? eighth grade. Or did my sisters wow. did? We did frogs. frogs but I remember, yeah, I remember there frogs. there were cats done at some really? point. Wow. Yeah, I think they. Give it Stop to the, the a, cats by the, the time a my plus sisters students. are. <laughs> <laughs> no, here's some. Do your Airbnb beers have to pay extra for the cat in the freezer, yeah, or is that just a part of the deal? The or... They're not allowed in my kitchen. Do you? Is it wrapped? Is that true? In? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Yeah. She's like, I have dead animals in my refrigerator. Please yeah. don't go in there. So <laughs> is the cat wrapped in foil or in plastic? She's in a um, Ziploc bag. Nice. Shut up. You can freeze her bag. Freeze her bag. No, I know a guy who did that with fish. He would, uh, he did, he had a whole scam going. He would scam the pet store, so somehow he had something going where he would freeze the angel fish. You know, like when they died or something, he would take them back later and try to get, you know, try to uh-huh. get two or something. I don't, I don't know how he did it. He said that, but that's how they have so many angel fish is because he would like, when they died, he would freeze them. And like take them back later, or like I don't know how he did it. Yeah, but may- yeah, that was kind of weird. All maybe right. maybe he was just making up an excuse well, for having a bunch a of dead angel fish in the freezer. <laughs> so how old was your grandmother when she passed? Uh, she was about sixty. Uh huh. And what uh, was she a big partier? That's why. You- did she go to Vegas a lot? Yeah. That's why you were saying she loved. Yeah, we would take we would take family trips out to Vegas. Uh-huh. Well, was she, she a, a smoker? She's a smoker. That makes sense because Vegas yeah. you can smoke yeah. everywhere. Yeah. And how long were you guys there for in Vegas? About three days. You guys were there for three days and not, not once. No. How long had it been since she had it passed? It was my fault because I like to smoke marijuana. So How long had it been since she had passed? Um, Let's see here. She passed in May and then we went like that summer. So like July or So it, was a little, it wasn't like it was fresh. And you put it in a pot? I put it in an airport plant. Yeah, how? What? Th- so t- we dumped we dumped it out of its little. We had like a little. How far from the thing. gate were you? Yeah, it was like right at the gate. So you went through. Security. Yeah, you went through security. We went through security. Why and would everything. you go through? Yeah, this is where I have many questions. Because why would that to me? Because you're you have to go through a special thing. I think to take ashes on a plane or something. Do you? What know? if it's just in a box? I didn't know. 
Yeah, but you can, what are you going to take a, a, a box full of sand through the x-ray? They're going to be like, what the fuck is that? They're cool. They actually called me for green beans. I had some dehydrated green beans in my bag, and that's what they... They they on a different. Me and I thought they were going. I'm like, this is it. This is where the ashes get taken, and grandma has to get thrown out in the trash can or right, something. Because you can have like but one that, of those keychains with like colorful sand in it. They're not gonna. Yeah, it's a keychain. It's, it's not a fucking a box. With body. <laughs> it's just a box of sand. <laughs> so you were conscious of the fact that you were taking her back through security, and you made the decision at the last minute, like, okay, well, we don't. I don't want to take her back on the yeah. plane. Yeah. Why? Why didn't you want to take her back? Because I, we all agreed we were going to leave her in Vegas. You could have at least Where left her by be. some of the slot machines. Somebody yeah, that's what we wanted air, to do. They that's have them in the we airport planning. in Vegas. Somebody this doesn't that add up on. so yeah. much that I kind of believe it. Like it's, <laughs> like, it's sort of like that dumb. Where, where you're like, why oh were you God. like... <laughs> Michael, what do you think? I think that... Uh, oh, well, am I, should I answer feedback for both? stories by the way but with the ashes know. thing with the ashes can you just do that can you what let's yeah, say a cop yeah. saw you sprinkling did. a little bit on yeah. in the street what is that like is that littering can you just put a little bit of dead person I just wherever did. What did they go? What did <laughs> go? <laughs> no they didn't nobody even winked an eye they're just like whatever it's like if you it make a whole deal. thing they just of like it, thought i was throwing you. trash i mean away. they do sometimes Shit goes through where you're just like, no one saw What's something the point? and said something. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no one stopped, dropped, and rolled. <laughs> um, Disney had a problem with that at the Haunted Mansion where people were like dumping their ashes. Oh, and they, really? Yeah, and they had the, oh, they, really? they did a whole thing like crack down really? on it with cast members. How fucking That's weird. That's hilarious. Yeah. Um, Mary Lynn, yes. See? Uh, what what name for the did when you met the dominatrix? Did she have a name? Uh, Tabitha. Tabitha. My mother's name. <laughs> wow, wait, that's hilarious. You remembered that pretty quickly. Yeah, how yeah. the fuck do you remember that? <laughs> okay, and... Well, you're, he's, this and guy's questioning my emotional reaction. <laughs> like, I didn't have the reaction that he wanted I, me to have. Mary Lynn, did he's you... He's emotionally connected. Did you get far enough in the, into this process to, to learn about a safe word? Uh, yes. And what was the safe word? Benghazi. <laughs> ha- harim. Harim. Harim? Safe word. Yes. Man, that's like a word you could accidentally say while you're having a good time, you know? Harim. harim. Why Harim? I don't know. It's some was Christian or thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no. I don't know. <laughs> well, we're moving on to <laughs> Marilyn's second story. Um, <laughs> yes. Before we go. Yes. Um, Ken says that, you know, sometimes our guests get uh, nicknamed by the listeners. Uh-huh. Um, Ken oh, says no. that he believes Carrot Top Hinchcliffe over their story. <laughs> um, I'm flattered. That was a good one, Ken. That was a good I'm one. Flattered. And you nailed it. Um, <laughs> why Hinchcliffe? I, I want to know why. Ask Ken Lofgren. We, He's no one's going to tell you. On a, on, <laughs> a, on a Monday, nonetheless. And uh, Raver Basher asked if you dumped her in the ashtray, because that's probably where... She might have liked to let, to rest. Yeah. In no, the we, put her in a, we put them in a rubber, like a little plant. Yeah. Like what kind of plant? Like it, how big was the plant? It was like a plastic plant. It was like a. Was the plant no, like one of those like? Have you been back like, to visit since? See, I like, see Vegas is not having plastic plants in the airport. Well, probably they I do because it's so dry. I yeah. agree. No, I agree. But um, also, positive. on a side note, Matthew Bowen is very concerned about the cat in your freezer. Lindsay also <laughs> says, <laughs> Jessica, <I know>. ew. <laughs> Does it fill up your whole yeah, freezer? Damn. No, it's just uh, at the bottom of the freezer. Right? Kind of a, oh, what Lord. kind of face is it making? Is it make? Is I it don't see like the a, face every day because it, it's at the bottom. Like, so did I you just, did, when you put it in? Did you do it so the face points to the back? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why you did you kill your, the cat in the first place? To me, if you want to be, I, it died, and I put it uh, in the plastic bag, and I put it in one of those little, uh, like Tupperware, not Tupperware, but it's like a bucket. Mm-hmm. It's a green uh, bucket. Okay. So it's in a green bucket. In, and so I can see the top of it. Uh-huh. But it's in, and I'd have to really look. So what is your ultimate plan for your cat? What is the ultimate plan with that? I haven't decided Is yet. it a microwave safe bucket? Uh, <laughs> no. no, I would say no. Yeah, okay. Thaw it out, reheat easy. It's like something I All use right. as a shower caddy in the military. Mm. Okay. Well, none of us have been in the military, I don't think, so. Anyway, no. Marilyn, your second story. <laughs> My second story uh, takes place in uh, Silver Lake, and I was walking <laughs> at 11 a.m. <laughs> I had pajama bottoms on. 
And I just kept walking. A backpack. <laughs> I did some more walking. <laughs> and this uh, girl was uh, like, hey. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and the way she said it, I was like, thought I knew her. And so I uh, was like, hey. And I walked towards her. Like, you know, when someone makes it like extra familiar. And so I was like, hey. And then I walked towards her. And then I realized, oh, I don't know her. And I kind of like sized her up and she was really skinny and her skin was like translucently white and there were bruises on her leg. So you're like, she knows me from 24. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to yes and you, but I didn't, I didn't get where you're going with that. Because she's <sighs> tortured? No, well, she's it just seems like bruised? that would be your uh, fan base. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Fuck. You know what? Bruce up uh, ghost last, <laughs> last time it was the, huh? oh, yeah. Did you get with your teacher? And this time, all like right, you're dissing my fans? Let's all go around the room and say your favorite credit of Mary Lynn's. Ooh. Punch drunk love. He, that's, he wanted to say that. Oh, okay. She doesn't know but me she, for anything. You were good in that movie, yeah, too. So good. Yeah, it's good. No, yeah. I saw her on uh, Arrested Development, which yeah, threw me for a loop. Too. And yeah. I was like, yeah. oh, yeah. great. Yeah, that's, that's great. great. Yeah, <laughs> she doesn't know me from anything. It's all right. <laughs> yeah. so it's sorry. okay. It's a new generation. <laughs> you know? Before I do the, the best podcast I can. start, I do the best Kristen I can. was all like, so you're comic? You're part of the podcast. Like, just fix the light. Like, look away. You see how modest I am? You know, great success, yet also beaten down many times. I'm like... No, yeah, I sweep the place. I produce it, or I'm a comic. Your choice. People were online were also saying their favorites. I'm trying to find it, but um, and your nickname was Gail the Snail. I just missed it, but of course that. Yeah, <laughs> love Gail the Snail. So you were okay. So I was describing uh, the reason why I said I'm walking and all that is because I was just. I think it was the way I looked. Okay, I had pajama bottoms, wet hair, disheveled. Uh, why were you I, out? I was on the just. Streets? Walking with to wet coffee hair. or something. <laughs> <laughs> and so anyway, she starts talking to me and she's like, uh, what what are you doing? Like she's making small contact, a small, small talk with me. Where, where are you going? You going downtown? And I wanted to see what she was going to say. So I just yes anded her. I was like, yeah, I'm going downtown. And I thought she was going to try to sell me drugs. Right. And so she's like, oh, you. I don't know. She was asking me questions and she's like, are you, you looking for work? And I go, yeah. And then right there was this donut shop and she walked me into the donut shop and she whispered and then all the employees scattered around and she took me out to the back or not even the back. It was front facing the street where all the tables are. And I met my prospective pimp. At a oh, donut shop? Yeah. Really? Yes. How long ago was this? This was, well. Did you maybe. See, look this was before 2000. This was like and in what the, did the late pimp 90s. Look like? He was African American. He, ha he did have a gold chain on. <laughs> But <laughs> oh, he did in trouble now, girl. <laughs> he did, and then okay. he had a um, North Face puffy uh, ski jacket. Yeah, in the heat of the summer, and then oh. he also said that his name was Kevin, but people call him Lawrence. Huggy Bear. <laughs> no, people call him Lawrence. Oh, really? And I was like, why are you picking a name that's way not as cool as your actual name? And then he was like. Lift up your sunglasses. Let me see your pretty face. Oh God! And <laughs> and I like left my body. I, to, I was watching my this? yes because I was like, what's gonna happen to her? You know. And then I just my heart was beating so fast. And he's like, uh, you gotta. What was he saying? Like you keep you can't live with your boyfriend. And like, do you have a car? It's better if you don't have a car. And what? you have a cell phone. And he was like trying to close me. And then every time I try to ask questions, he would shut me down because he had to have like the power, right? So I was like, "Well, how's she doing?" And he's like, "She's doing really good out here." I don't remember her name, Christina or something. Christina's doing really. We're doing really well out here. And why don't you sit down? I did take off my sunglasses, but I did not sit down. Then he was like, kept trying to get my number. And then that, then I finally was like, "You better get the fuck out of here." So I go, uh, "I'm gonna think about it." And I started walking backwards, and he goes. I think you have thought about it. And that was like his, like, really, I'm going to get you. Did he just assume you knew what you were there for? So, yes, I guess. And he was telling me about it, but but in really vague terms. And she didn't really explain it either. She just said, are you looking for work? And I said, yes. And that's why I was trying to say, like, I don't know what I was doing. I guess I just looked vulnerable and disheveled. 
Homeless. Mm. Yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and Silver Lake in 2000 wasn't as nice as it is now, right? No. I mean, yeah. there was still coffee shops and stuff, and I lived over there. I was already, I was waiting to see if my pilot was getting picked up. I had a guest spot on Veronica's closet. So I was, <laughs> <laughs> but they hadn't called me back. So I was wow. in fact looking for work, yeah. but <laughs> that was the time frame. was like, I don't know. When was uh -huh. that show on? Did you ever see them run across them in your neighborhood ever again? No, but I spent the next two weeks just avoiding that street and just uh -huh. really scared that I was going to see him. And my boyfriend was like super pissed at me, but I, I was real. I mean, I, when as I stood there, I imagined, what if I did go through with it for like a yeah. night just to see what it was like? But then I, I, I wanted to get as much info as I could. But then I, you know, my rational mind took yeah, over. Just in case like, that pilot. Did. Did. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Uh, uh, I, uh, you played this game really well because it's like, do you see me going along with a pimp? And just seeing where this goes, or do you see me in a dominatrix dungeon? Ooh, yeah. well, they're both. I didn't even make that connection. Really. She didn't do the math correctly in the first story, though. Let's not forget that. Well, but That's... do you know me as a mathematical person <laughs> <laughs> who knows the time frame <laughs> of no, her I own life? Not. No, I do. Not. Have you met my husband before? Point well taken. <laughs> I mean, the way you said that was like, oh, I got you. And, you know. But Matthew Bowen says, are we to believe that you would put yourself in a position to be alone with a pimp? Yeah, but if it's on the street. It was on the street. Yeah. Right? I'm yeah. sorry I tried to recruit you. Um, I, I gauged that wrong. I was just, ha I was having well, a bad Well, you do have that translucent just, skin. I just, you just dumped your uh, grandma's ashes. Yeah. In a you were vulnerable. Plant. You wanted a friend. Right. Yeah. A whore. Any other and questions from our audience? Um, Lee and Lindsay both say that they think this one's true compared to the other one, and um, Lindsay even said it sounds like a very L.A. story. Could be a good movie, yeah. maybe. What if uh, she oh messed up gosh. the time frame on purpose? Mm. I Why do people like the want me to be story? a whore? Then they, I don't know. That's so rude. Or a dominatrix. Yeah, no, no. Um, well, they also, with your point, they, they see me more as like a vulnerable uh, mark than they do, well, I was just visiting the dominatrix. But. And also all of their favorite <laughs> um, Mary Lynn credits were Always Sunny. Is their favorite one. Oh, so. good one, good one. All right, let's. Uh, unless you have something to say, Michael. I I only think that maybe this sounds like it could be one of those stories that happened to somebody else. It sounds like it could be one of those. Like a friend told her this one only because she answered Tabitha so quickly when I asked what the dominatrix's name was. Mm. Does that sound like? A, does anybody know that world? Does that sound like a real name for a dominatrix? I mean, well, she, she thought of nature. Do we oh, know Mary Lynn name. to be a bewitched fan? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. So somebody watched Bewitched before coming in here and just yeah, maybe, that. maybe, or maybe that's her her kid's best friend's name or something. Maybe it's just a name she has up on the top you of think her that's brain. That's her go-to name. Maybe. Maybe. All right, and Kristen. I, what about your second story? I just want to say I think I recognize you from uh, Sunny. Go on. So there. That's that's you it. can't you can't. Uh, I, that's all I can. Okay. You can't that, there's no my story. No <laughs> there's my second story. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, okay, my second story is uh, when I was uh, I lived in Chicago for four years to do comedy before I moved here, and when I was there, I met uh, another friend in the stand-up scene who was also homeless, and uh, we became friends through just like talking after mics before mics and like and were you we homeless? would talk i'm sorry i wasn't homeless okay no i wasn't homeless he was homeless i would like offer to buy him cheeseburgers and stuff like that and he never like he never accepted the offers well one day his dad died and left him with millions Another of dollars death jesus okay <laughs> bring the sex well, yeah we're good the death. <laughs> we know how we to got play a the game play in here. hey man we gotta have themes uh <laughs> so my so he his dad died <laughs> And left him millions of dollars. Uh-huh. And, it, like, I was one of his only friends. Uh-huh. <laughs> so he knew I was struggling at the time, and he gave me $20,000 to pay for what is currently my car. And... That's the story. Well, fuck, now I believe the ashes and the plant story <laughs> in Vegas. <laughs> really? What kind of car? Uh, Toyota Prius. And was... Did you spend... The, all the money on the car? Good or? question. Oh, yeah. yeah, I spent all the money on the car. You did? Because it was new back then. Uh -huh. Yeah, it was like $20,000. I brought it, I bought it new. Is off, that guy right it? off of the And you lot. were just like, your logic was, this is all I need. I want this car. What else do I... Why didn't you divvy up the money for like some meals or something? You know, I gave... 
buy yourself some underwear. Sis- I gave my mom and sister a couple of uh, gift cards for Macy's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I did. Yeah. I bought myself a car. And I gave them some here's money forty dollars for, for Macy's. I gave them a couple hundred dollar gift you cards. You didn't even for give Macy's. them cash. Just here's a gift card. And uh, it's, not, it's not like they even appreciated it. Wait, did he give you cash? No. How long ago cash, was he this? wrote a check? How long ago was this? This was about uh, four years. No. Yeah, four years Be ago. Be careful. It's if been you say, four she'll, years. she'll catch yeah, you in the no, timeline. It's been four but years. four years <laughs> ago, <laughs> a brand new Prius cost more than $20,000, didn't it? Doesn't it? I don't think so. Yeah. 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 Wait, Wait did you buy it outright? Mm-hmm. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's, Is this like your yeah. own Curly Sue story? <laughs> 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 yeah. It's a hard night. Well, I, I don't know. This is my fancy used, story. used right? Prius for she said a new Prius. Oh, she did. Yeah, yeah. for twenty thousand. That seems a little slightly. It was low. a Prius new, and you bought new. it outright with twenty thousand dollars. Yeah, I just, no trade in. I no said nothing. no trade in, no nothing. I was living in Chicago. I I rode the L train. And you still have your there. Prius. And I still have it. Have you seen this gentleman since then? Uh, yes, I have. We have since had a falling out. He tried to stab me in a hotel. Oh wow. Well, and he, she now, said yeah. that very quickly. <laughs> Did he blow through his money? He, uh, I don't know currently, but when he was when he first got the money, yeah, he was blowing through it pretty quick. He he gave some to me, and he gave some. I wasn't the only person. I can't believe you had to ask a question to get the stabbing part of the story. I right. Know, I know. That is that seems that's like part of the story. story. Yeah. So where was well, it, the, the stabbing, the stabbing here part? In LA? It was. Yeah. Were you guys both wasted? No, no, he was. Um, he was jealous of uh, my my gay best friend because when I was looking to move to L.A., I stayed in L.A. and I wanted to stay with my gay best friend slash current roommate instead of staying with him. Oh, he's here. Oh, he, he got, moved but, to L.A. Yeah, he had already moved to L.A., so he got the money and he moved to L.A. Oh. before I did. Oh, I see. And then when I was visiting L.A., like I visited him in this hotel. Which hotel? And, uh, somewhere in Pasadena. Is he a stand-up, you said? Yeah. Is he working? So in is he the in the scene? Is he in the stand-up uh, scene? Kind of, but he doesn't really. He doesn't get shows. He's a uh, a little because he's a stabber. He's uh, <laughs> you know, I mean, you know. he doesn't get. I mean, I wish that was the reason, but unfortunately, that got, that's bigger than me. Uh, <laughs> so he tried to stab you, but he yeah. didn't make skin contact. No. Okay. Would well, we no. know him? And then I said, "I'm never talking to you again." And then, uh, would you know him? No, I don't think you would. Um, I've seen him at show up sporadically at a couple of shows and then told him to leave what kind of knife was it it was scissors here's the biggest question of all in the hotel room the biggest question of all is was he funny (laughs) he was funny before he got the money oh Oh, wow why did he have scissors where did the scissors come from yeah how do you get scissors in a hotel did he pack scissors with him wherever he goes he just know. carries them around. They were just like the uh, they were like the nicest thing in his hotel room. They were like some nice like sterling silver so, or like you know. So you went to his hotel I don't know, room. They were like silver nice scissors. And he had the scissors there. You went to his hotel room and he had the scissors there. Yeah, there was just scissors like on his right. desk or something. So why yeah. would he move to L.A. and then you met him at his hotel room if he already yeah. moved to L.A. before you? He was living in a hotel. Day to day. <laughs> One thing I can verify is that she did live in Chicago. I do know that because I had a buddy text me earlier and say that she would do comedy in Chicago uh, where he played piano and he had a little crush on her back in the day. Oh, wow. Wait, so, wait, who's this? Wait, hold I don't, you probably, he said, he said she, she doesn't know who I am, but she is funny. Yeah, you dumped your wait, grandma's wait, wait, wait. ashes. That oh, flirtation is over. Is it Cameron Ford? <laughs> <laughs> he played the piano. Is it Cameron Ford? No. Okay. And this guy's got a wife now, so I don't know if I should say his name. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, Wow. Any questions? Any questions? I'm with Michael? you. The scissors is on. Yeah. yeah. Silver fancy scissors. Yeah. And she's like, <laughs> maybe they, <laughs> maybe they were just in the hotel room, like all the normal hotel t- hotel stuff, like That's pillows, not a, normal, a yeah. little coffee pot, the remote, and scissors. <laughs> 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 yeah. I don't know. I guess that I I guess that I kind of believe. I want to believe it, but you answered the question so quick. Like, you felt really natural when you were given the... Like, Pasadena, where the hotel was. I'm sure was. it's happened to her. 
But, but maybe not this guy. <laughs> See, now I feel defensive on your behalf. Wait, so you're Sometimes saying, you answer stuff quick. Sometimes Jessica, you answer right? stuff. <laughs> Are you saying that whether or not this story is true in particular, you think she's been stabbed in a hotel room before? <laughs> I think that somebody's <laughs> attempted to stab her before, yes. Maybe. That, that, yeah, that happens. <laughs> God, I wish I had a pair of scissors right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, like it's a mixing of stories. And, yeah, uh, exactly. And the, then the scissors ended up in the hotel room, and that was the mistake of the... All right. Do I, we have any questions from online? Um, some, yes. Everybody was kind of leaning towards it not being true until she said the stabbing thing. And somebody <laughs> that's said... Funny, that's, oh, yeah, that's what makes it... Well, okay. somebody said there's more detail, so it's got to be true, but I will remind you guys at home that perhaps that might not be the case because we found uh, that more details tend to lead to a lie, I think, in the in the most recent yeah. episode. It depends. It depends, that's but in the most recent... She's squirrely, um, though. She is squirrely. <laughs> that is a fact. Leah says, um, though, that if, she, if the guy had millions, she probably would have just been fine with the stabbing and still talked with him if yeah, he was but rich. Yeah, but... That he moved here, but then he's in a hotel room. That's kind of weird. Maybe a fancy Yeah, if hotel. he moved here first, why yeah. didn't he set up a place? Yeah. Was he waiting for you to get a place? Did you know that? No. Wasn't he homeless anyway? No. He was homeless before he got the money. Yeah, he's used to being a nomad. He's like, let me just get yeah. there, dog. If, yeah, exactly. Someone with that mindset, they're not going to do something logical. How, much, how long was he here before you got here? Uh, about a year. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Kristen. <laughs> Fuck you and your storytelling. That's what you deserve. <laughs> the most fucked up stories. And it's tricky. Good story. <laughs> That's a good one. Though. <laughs> All right. So uh, why don't we have Austin now is going to recap the stories real quick, and we're going to take a vote. He's going to start with Maryland's. Actually, let's start with Kristen's. Let's start with Kristen's. Uh, story one, her grandma died in Dayton, Ohio. So for her funeral, they partied with her ashes in Vegas, and they planned to spread them throughout Sin City, but they forgot. So she dumped Granny in a potted airport. Uh, plant on her. She didn't out. say that was her funeral. She did say. She said so for her funeral. That was there was her no exact other words. services. No, there were services when she died, and then right. It was the word she the used fact. was so yeah. for and her funeral. Later. We went to Vegas. That was for our, for like I'm our a stenographer old here. Trust me. No, thank you for that information. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> story two. She lived in Chicago for four years with a homeless comedian, and the guy's dad dies and left the hobo lots of but money. But she didn't. Oh, but I she didn't, didn't live, live with him. Not with live him. with him, okay. around yeah. him. Okay. The guy's dad dies, leaves a hobo with lots of money, so he repaid her for being sweet by buying her a fancy $20,000 Prius and then tried to stab no, her no, in a hotel. No, no, he gave her $20,000 where she brought, bought the Prius plus some cards from Macy's for her right. mother and sister. How old are you, uh, Kristen? I'm 30. And how old's your mother? She's 52. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And how long ago was the grandmother thing? How long ago was that? Uh, it was about ten years ago. Yeah, and how old was your grandmother when she passed? She's sixty. She oh did God. say sixty. Wait, what? <coughs> Does that mean something? <laughs> I just lost the plot. Did you, really are you on the math today, like <laughs> big time? Well, if you're thirty and your mother is fifty-two, right? And then your your grandmother is ha- you know. sixty ten years ago. Yeah. Wait, I'm so confused. I don't know. That sounds. That sounds. That her mom would have been forty ish yeah. ten years ago. Yeah. She also wouldn't have been twenty one. Going oh. to Vegas. Oh yeah, very good point, Jessica. Very good point. <laughs> yeah. So what, we were in the hotel room drinking because you weren't out drinking. They're gonna card you wherever you go. Well, she was smoking what marijuana. Yeah, I was. She did say smoking marijuana, but she said they were gonna put her ashes throughout the hotel. Casino. And you did the say casino. you were partying. Yeah. Heavily. Yeah, but so I was twenty one. Heavily and not being twenty one. <coughs> I was twenty one. You just said you're thirty. So then it was like nine years ago. Yeah. I don't know about that. I don't know. I myself have, you know, time issues. So I was nine years ago. She went to Vegas when she was twenty-one. I don't know. All right. Who? What did the people online say? What are their votes? She said they'd like to take family vacations to Vegas. Uh huh. So were you going there prior when you were younger? We went. We went a few times. And did you see any shows? No. What did you do when you were younger then when you went all went to Vegas? As a family vacation. Went to the M&M we store? Just go, yeah. We just Don't went. give her ideas. 
<laughs> What's yeah, the M&M yeah, store? Where's that? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, we did the Hershey store. <laughs> no, really, what did you guys do as a family vacation when you went to Vegas? Were we you just, like, were, party and gamble. When you were a little kid, <laughs> though, when you went No, I family? wasn't a little kid. We didn't start doing that until, like, later, until I got old enough. Yeah, but so, you just said you were 21 when you're when she died and that you went to Vegas with her. Oh, that's a lie. <laughs> Don't do that. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> we she just we crumbled. damaged Kristen. <laughs> we, she, we made her crumble. <laughs> hey, for the record, that was going to be my vote, so I killed today. That's, we got it. <laughs> Which one was it? I, I'm listening to people online. About so. the grandma. Okay. <laughs> they were all right, pretty much. Okay. What a reveal. They didn't hear it. <laughs> that was But everybody was <laughs> leaning towards that one it. because it was simpler in the detail. Right, right. Too bad we didn't get to vote. Well, yeah. I voted. <laughs> yeah, in the comments, are, people are voting in the Jessica. comments, too. People are I'm voting sorry. in the comments. Yeah, I, didn't, I, I didn't know how it worked. I forgot about the vote. Yeah. No, it's okay. It's okay. Sorry, I no, broke, you right. broke me down. Okay. I couldn't lie anymore. <laughs> <laughs> is your grandma dead? She is. Okay. <laughs> what did you do with her ashes? She was buried. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and what I made like you come up with that fucked up story? I like that story a lot. Um, well, it was a combination of like just I don't know. My friend said that he his his grandpa died and his his ashes weren't treated properly, so he put them in like a garden gnome or something. I'm uh-huh. like, you know, where's like the craziest place you would just like put some ashes at, you know, so I thought I like, like Vegas, like make it Go, right. go big, you know. Okay. <laughs> um, Le- Leah said, "This is her shocked face, and I'll do it for the camera." <laughs> <laughs> so that's not shocked. Wow. All right, there you go. There you go. Uh, well, let's move on to the mm-hmm. recap. I mean, but that means the scissor stabbing is true. I know. Yeah, but we so can't go there yet. We still got to. That fits her voting. Well, I ruined though. it. Yeah. She, she even said that when we're shooting this whole pilot, uh-huh. that anybody that uh, most people that like, that don't want to. You know, there's folks that you shy away from, uh-huh. and the people that don't nobody wants to talk to them. Uh-huh. Those are the people that she is. She gravitates. Why towards. were there scissors in the hotel room? Yeah, who knows? There, um, that was real. That's real. Well, if he really yeah. was living there, then and God uh, damn, how many burgers did you buy him? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want any of them. No, he. I tried oh, to he buy never, them for oh, him. He, he never, never accepted. It. Oh, okay. Yeah. Could go for a because he wasn't really no. that poor. Because his family, he comes from a millionaire family. Mm. Wow. So I guess he felt bad for me, like trying to offer to buy him stuff when you know he knows he was sitting on a pile of money. The whole time. Right. Wow. I don't know. Those are is that, that insensitive? No, no, no. no. Those are just two. <laughs> they were two great stories. Too bad you crumbled like a little fucking baby at the can end, I, but they were totally great. Can stories. I tell you what the story was that I wanted to tell as my lie? No, uh, just a short, real quick. Okay, real quick. I wanted to say that my my upper molars have uh, five humps instead of four. <laughs> Because I was yeah. raised by vegetarians. You chose, you chose, chose wisely. <laughs> that would kill. All right. All right. Um, I know. Mary, Mary Lynn's first story. She was a transcendental meditator because Oprah made a big deal about the Beatles doing it. So she ends up hanging out with her calm, sexy teacher, David, at Fifty Shades of Grey type things in L.A. sex dungeons. Um, and she was not shocked by meeting his dominatrix. Um, story two, she was in Silver Lake, and she was walking in pajama bottoms and disheveled hair. Then this girl was like, hey, so she thought she knew her, but the closer she got, she realized she didn't. Long story short, she ends, ends up engaging in conversation with the lady to find out that she's just an assistant for a donut shop pimp who tried to recruit Mary Lynn. When were you in Legally Blonde? Two, I don't know, 2002? I don't know. I don't have any sense of time. I love that movie. No, that wasn't you good. keep saying that. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was in the mid 2000s. Was it? I I don't yeah, remember. Yeah. It was probably like 2005 ish, maybe yeah. even earlier. Really? Yeah, maybe uh, earlier. Or three earlier. or four, maybe. Earlier. I felt like it was before. I thought when I was in high school. When was that? I graduated in 02. By the way, it was Jessica probably went, in like oh. oh Just went to high school in Lakeland uh, for a, a year or two, where I'm from. And one of our listeners went to school at a rival high school, Kathleen High School, uh-huh. and she said that they did, in fact, dissect cats there <laughs> at oh, Kathleen yeah. High School. Wow. Yeah. That wow. makes sense in Lakeland. Yeah. Wow. All right. Uh, 
Did you say both stories? You said both yeah. stories. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's take a vote. What does everybody say online? All right, I'm just going to read them raw, so okay. if they're offensive, it's I'm exciting. sorry. Gail the Snail says first true, second lie. Or Kenneth says Gail the Snail, first true, second lie. Matthew Bowen, Mary Lynn, first lie, second true. Uh, Leah agrees with Ken that the first true, second lie. Pimp story true, Dungeon Falls promotion. And uh, everybody else is like, it's just all a blur. I can't tell yeah. if it's... Uh, what, what's the truth? What's the lie? Really uh, Michael, what do you like think? It. Yeah, I, I understand <laughs> why. I understand why people are so to, are sort of flustered. This is like this is like the most toss up for me that I've experienced. Yes. Really? They're, they're both great. They both have aspects that are absolutely unbelievable, and uh, they both got some shit that she seemed so comfortable saying, and and like like <laughs> like she was like it, it really felt like she was recalling in both in both for certain amounts of time. But when Felicia tripped her up on the uh, ten year thing in the first story, it kind of reminded me of when she, Sarah Weinshank crumbled in her story uh, right. a few weeks ago. Like she was just like oh, ah, during well, the headlines, like you caught yeah, me a little bit. Totally. But so. what better way to set up for that exactly. than this whole time? She's for this actress. whole time she's been saying, "Oh, I'm." She's so, a great actress. It, I feel like she actress. would set us the fuck up. Well, it's smart to be going <laughs> the whole time. She's been going. I'm so bad with time. I'm so bad with yeah, time. Yeah, I'm trying to make that up. Cause yeah. She's a to game be fair, player. actresses do have the best record on this show, too. I think, like, Carlisle Forster fooled everybody yeah, except for Matt Dillon. That's true. That's uh, true. I got to figure out a vote, though, so that I can just be done with it. Yeah. Uh, I got to fuck. What it, Austin, what are you voting? I gotta go with the first ones a lie based yeah. on that. Um, based on that little. Yeah, I think I'm on first ones a lie. I'm comfortable with that. First ones a lie. Seconds of truth. Is what year was the second story? I know you probably already said, but the the pimp story. Two thousand, I think. Two thousand ish. You know, I believe the pimp story because I can. Uh, I've w when I was younger had experiences that were mm. you know. Uh, were you approached? Yeah, where I was approached for that, so I could kind of believe mm. that, especially if you're walking around in pajama bottoms. Being all hipster with wet hair and all that kind of, st you know what I mean? All right. That was pretty hipster. Do you want me to tell you? Well, no, 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 no. I gotta make sure. Everybody <laughs> Taking an official vote. <laughs> Michael, did you vote? Marilyn's like, I'm about to call this shit. Let's get out of here. <laughs> yeah, I, I got number all day. number one is the lie for me. It's okay, and what about mm. you? You're allowed to vote too. Um, I think the number one is a lie. How yeah. dare you? <laughs> what about you, Jessica? <laughs> I'm really leaning towards the first one, not being the lie, being the truth, because I think she might have. Tried to play it up. Also, mm. what if they had an open relationship? Well, well I think well. that's been alluded to, but <laughs> maybe. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but my thing is, is that how could she react so quickly to the 10 years thing that Felicia brought up that she would be like. Because you didn't cause get married till you got pregnant, right? Correct. How mm -hmm. old is your son? He is nine years old. What? Does no, I just like, oh, <laughs> it's so close. It's so, but here's what I hate. It's like I'll, I'll kind of trip someone up, and then Jessica will be like, no, I'm going to be contrary. I'm going to say this. And then I go along with Jessica, uh, and then I'm wrong, even though I pointed out the fucking thing that was I said go up. with your gut here. Right. I'm just saying I don't think that I think the first would, story is a lie. I don't think she would go along with some weird bruised woman. To no, a I donut think, shop I and sit she down, would've. or she didn't sit down, but stand next to and talk to a pimp. But the boy, her, she said that her boyfriend was mad, and you know, I think I would be mad as yeah, a boyfriend in that situation. Yeah. So that seemed like he's a connecting yeah. emotionally. He's yeah. thinking about the emotional aspects. <laughs> yeah, and those make hey, sense. You here. shut the fuck over. <laughs> <there. laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I just think that she, I wouldn't put herself in that predicament. I think it's, it's sometimes you accidentally f get yourself in a predicament like within 25 seconds of meeting someone. Yeah, but she's saying like, that fuck? she wanted to That's know like, what, where is this going. Where were you born? Uh, south of Detroit. So you know hookers. Yeah, she's been around. I'm from the <laughs> suburbs. Yeah, but this was in... <laughs> just, just, this was in 2002, right? This was in 2000 also, right? Yeah. yeah. So, so, so yeah. this is a time. Would be horrified. This is a time much earlier, <laughs> much earlier in her career, where she you really was history. looking for work. And also, before we were so used to everything, <laughs> she said, "Are you looking for work?" And when we're so used to everything being on the internet, you guys are like the worst logic. <laughs> what? She really was looking for work, you guys. Well, I she didn't was. Say that. Don't put that totally on Totally true. I, I didn't tell Revenue, that part of the story. I would be mad too. Uh, I would. <laughs> like it has nothing to do with the boyfriend. I know, but that's what I'm saying. The fact that you brought that. that real. The that fact that real. you brought that up. It makes Colors it seem it right. in a real way, yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> Christina Aguilera was really, yeah. really popular. She came out with dirty. <laughs> she was a genie in a bottle. Was, <laughs> I'm going to stick with the out. first story is a lie. I'm going to I know I should Second go. Second story lie for me. Okay. So which one is the lie? Well, uh, Felicia 
you have had my number this entire time oh! and it is was in fact the 10 years that with good reason <laughs> why that was the how i felt i got caught uh -huh. as well the first story is a lie <laughs> yes the yeah. prostitute yes. is the truth yes. you went with that lady we both messed up our timelines. Why did you do that? Everything I was seemed curious. sketchy in 2000. Wow. You know, I wanted to see what she was going to say. It was not a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> but again, she has my number. She's like, yeah, they do things like that sometimes. A certain kind of woman where you're like, you're a strong woman. And you're like, no, I do <laughs> dumb shit. Yeah. Because I've done, I've That's how you stumbled got to into be. stupid yeah. shit too, where I'm like, well, and within like, yeah. and especially like sexual, not sexual, but like fem feminine, like, yeah. Because you believe, uh, yeah. you believe women. Yeah. That's, yeah. So where yeah. you're like, oh, this person isn't yeah. a bad person. And then yeah. all of a sudden, you're like, what the fuck? Like that. When I was like yeah. 17, I ended up dating this uh, drug dealer. Um, <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah. <laughs> and then I was whipping he, out these he told me he was that's much younger than he was. Then I got hold of his driver's license and he was like in his 30s. Oh, yeah. Creeptastic. Uh, yeah. How long did you guys date for? Um, I don't know, six months. He left a gun in my car, and that was the last straw. Oh, really? Yeah, Jesus. Wow. Wow. Just there, it was under my seat. We're so glad you're here. Oh, yeah. I could have went off the deep end, but easy. But I was so much younger than you know, and I just felt like after being <sighs> here for a while, you wouldn't have done something like that. I'm really disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Ken Lofgren like is too. Reliving it all over again. <laughs> I am mad at you too. <laughs> <laughs> Boyfriend was right. Yeah. Uh, Ken Lofgren is very upset because his winning streak is gone, and he has uh, had the longest ooh. winning streak of anybody I think Good. so far. Good. So. Wow. He was getting cocky. Oh. <laughs> he was. Oh, he, he was. was. Yeah, on oh, Twitter. On yeah. Twitter, he was getting cocky. Wow. Well, uh, nice. where can people find out about you guys or see what you guys have upcoming? Uh, how to, can you give us some information? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Instagram, I'm on uh, Instagram and Twitter at Mammy Spanks. That's M A M M Y S P A N X. That's what was available in 2007 when I made my <laughs> oh. first YouTube channel. Uh, Marylynn, Marylynn.com. Checking in with Mary Lynn is the podcast. Very nice, very nice. Uh, I've been Felicia Michaels. This has been Austin Walker. You can follow both of us on Twitter. Do me a big favor. If you have Amazon Prime, please go and watch Pervs on there. It's a documentary that I directed. And Ooh. give it a check out and please leave a review. That would be lovely. And Jessica? Um, yes, check out our shows that are going to be coming up at the Comedy Store September 25th, 25th and October. Yep. <laughs> Michael? Michael? Do you know? October October oh, I thought 29th. You were both up. Uh, October 29th. Yep. At the Comedy Store and every second Friday at the Ice House. And please take a moment. I know we're on the Comedy Store YouTube right now. Just take a moment and go over to the Liars Club YouTube and subscribe. Please. We're almost at 300. That'd be cool, right? Right. And we're going to uh, release a animation very shortly. I know I keep saying it, but it's so super going to happen. And that'll be on that YouTube channel, not the comedy channel. Yes. Here at the comedy store. You guys are awesome. Yes. Yeah. And look us look me up at Jess Wellington too on everything. Lindsay said go bury that damn cat. And Michael, where can people follow Great you? Great stories, Kristen. People can follow me at High Five Michael on Instagram. Yeah. And uh, on Friday night at 11.45, I'm on Mike Falzone's show, The Fallback Show at the Westside Comedy Theater. And later that night uh, on the late night show at the Hollywood Improv. Come check it out. Oh, wow. Woo. It's not all about you, Mike. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I'll be at the Oyster House tonight. Wow. Don't eat the food. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Baja, Mexico in a couple of weeks. Defrost the cat, please. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. Thank you. And you have been lied to.